for this lesson, we'll be solving three multi-step equations. The first equation is 48 minus W equals 158. So we know that we've got to get the W by itself. We are going to have to move the 48 to the other side of the equation. And by doing that, we're going to go ahead and write the opposite of positive 48 and put a minus 48 for each one of these. So now I know that the W is almost by itself, but that subtract W, that's a negative W, or the opposite of W, equals 110. We're going to divide each side of the equation by a negative 1 because we cannot go ahead and have a negative variable. So I know the answer is going to be W is positive. That's what we have to have. And now notice 110 divided by um, negative 1 is a negative 110. And there is our answer. Let's go on to the next problem. With this problem, negative 8x minus 7 plus 2x equals 23, I know I must simplify the side, this side of the equation first before I'm going to go ahead and I am going to move anything. So I see that I have a negative 8x and I have a positive 2x because it's plus 2x. So I'm catching the signs that are in front of those. And I end up with a negative 6x minus 7 equals 23. Well, the x wants to be by itself. It's got to be by itself. So I this minus 7 is like a negative 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So we end up with, because that cancels out, a negative 6x equals 30. Last step is going to be to get the variable by itself. We're dividing both sides by negative 6. So x is equal to a negative 5 is our answer. And last but not least, we have negative 19 equals 3 plus 2x plus 8. So before I do anything, I see that this side of the equation has to be simplified. So I'm just copying the negative 19 down. I'm going to add my 3 and my plus 8, which is 11, plus 2x. Remember, where our goal is always to get the variable by itself, so we're going to subtract 11 from both sides. And when I do that, the 2x is now alone, which is happy. And this is like a negative 19 plus a negative 11, or and negative 19 minus 11, either one. And we, so when we put those together, we end up with a negative 30. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because that's where a uh, number is near the variable. So x is equal to a negative 15. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more math with Marsha. See you again soon.